does collaboration and connection between organizations, but also within organizations, help create change and mobilize and, and create success? Let's start with collaboration between entities. We are now living in a world where you hear lots of buzzwords, ecosystem, stakeholder, community, you know, and if you cut through all that, what you realize is that we are now in a much more interdependent world than ever before. That interdependency at the nation state level, interdependency between companies down to individuals. Let's look at the company interdependence. Today, organizations are much more dependent or interdependent with others than ever before. Apple, you know, if you look at their products, it says what? Designed in California. Mm. Right, mm -hmm. you know, it isn't. You know, the how much and and these kind of interdependencies are both with your suppliers, with your buyers, and with your complementers. You know, so Apple is outsourcing much of the manufacturing of the inputs that go into the into their products. That's the vertical outsourcing. They or what I call shrinking the core. Uh, but then they have the I you know the App Store where most of the apps are made by somebody else but, but Apple, including their main competitors like Google. Right. Right? So yeah. you have, so I call that expanding the periphery. So I'm shrinking my core, I'm expanding my periphery, I'm learning and I'm having to collaborate. Now here's the paradox about collaboration. We see it happening like crazy, expanding all over the world. At the same time, what do we know about data on collaboration? It's rather dismal. It's actually mm -hmm. quite discouraging that most collaborations fail. I, I don't say most, I would say majority, more than half. Huh. So now you're in a situation where you're doing all these things and yet a majority of them don't work out. So what's missing over here? What's gonna give? What is the disconnect over here? And I think is, so uh, this is becoming an imperative that we have to learn how to do. And if we don't learn how to do, we're gonna fail. So uh, the more we are reliant on others, the more we partner with others and the better we need to get. So building these competencies to collaborate with others is a key for organizational success today. Now let me turn to the second one, collaboration within organizations. I wrote an article a few years ago in the Harvard Business Review called Silo Busting. If I had to change one thing in the article, I would change the title, I would call it Silo Bridging. Hmm. The basic thesis was organizations need silos. They're not going away. The question is, how do we make them work together? Now, you may want to adjust your silos and change them and reconfigure them because one set is not as good as the other or you need to align it around your strategy. But in the end of the day, the whole question we have to ask ourselves is how do we connect silos? And, and that is a leadership task. A leadership task is to connect silos. And I think this is, absent that, it's really hard for success because silos can, left out to their own devices, create a tribal instinct. Mm. And that leads to tribal warfare, which also creates a very internally looking organization that is spending, people are spending more time dealing with internal silos yeah. than dealing with the marketplace and with customers. Mm -hmm. And so if you leave it to their own devices, you're gonna have an internally focused organization, not an outward customer focused organization. And in today's turbulent markets, if you're not focused outwards towards the customer, you are gonna get left behind very fast. Mm -hmm. So the trend of de-siloing really can't completely come to fruition. You have to keep those teams, but learn how to more, more fluidly. So this is why I said the title of my article I think is wrong, is because silo busting implies that you need to get rid of silos yeah. or de-silo. Silos are there to stay because you need to create accountability and focus right. and you need to create units. So it's, it's, you may choose to structure your silos differently, some mm -hmm. by region, some by product, some by function, but you're gonna need silos. Yeah. The question is which silos? Mm. Now, fine, you can always tweak your silos, but whichever silos you're gonna need, you're gonna need to bridge those silos. And if you haven't figured out how to bridge those silos, you're gonna have a problem. Mm. Um, this is a book written you know, almost 50 years ago uh, by one of my dissertation advisors here at the Harvard Business School who wrote a book on differentiation and integration. And the idea was that organizations need to create differentiation through unit structures, modular structures, and then they need to integrate them as well. Mm -hmm. And depending on the market context, you will need different levels of differentiation and integration. Mm 
So how do you create that right modular structure, but no matter what you choose, you may need to then connect those modules. Mm -hmm. And this is the, this is the challenge.